people want to do something to stop COVID, this is a way for many different people from many different backgrounds to come together to contribute to something positive. A new web app is helping people assess their COVID-19 risk by logging the levels of carbon dioxide in different locations across the city. Okay, let's say you're in a room full of people. Everyone breathes out carbon dioxide. If there's a lot of carbon dioxide in that space, that means the ventilation system is not moving it out. Mm. All that means all the viruses in the air from those people is still in the air too. And the more likely you're going to get COVID. The Raven app website allows people to input carbon dioxide levels wherever they are with the help of a portable carbon dioxide monitor. The numbers are then reflected on a map. Information is being logged by both the general public and volunteers. And then I kind of go onto the app and then I just log in where I was, the CO2 levels and the time and the weather and then all those different details. I just log it in and that's it. It's extremely useful, especially for people with underlying conditions or someone that's vulnerable. It really helps to know whether you should be in these areas or whether you should, you know, protect yourself in these areas. The CO2 is a way to tell if your school's ventilation for your child is good. So you can share that data with other parents and you can prevent your child from getting COVID potentially. An air quality expert says while carbon dioxide is a good indicator, it is important to take other factors into account when it comes to COVID-19 transmission. The respiratory particles and carbon dioxide don't behave the same, right? And so, for example, uh, if you have a very big respiratory uh, particle, it's going to settle to the ground or deposit. In that case, the carbon dioxide levels won't reflect the risk of catching an infection. Another maybe more relevant example is uh, filters. If you have a portable filter or a filter in your central system, it can remove those respiratory droplets. Uh, but it doesn't remove CO2. On that note, the creators of the Raven app say they're adding a function that will add more nuance to risk assessment than just carbon dioxide levels based on the air filters being used in the space. Find out what the filtration rate is. If you can do a calculation, we'll have that in the app as well, okay. like an advanced calculator. So you can sort of be at ease if the air changes are at least six to ten air changes an hour in a room. Anyone can view the app and its info, but to log levels, you need a carbon dioxide monitor. If you'd rather not spend the money, the Toronto Public Library has you covered. The library um, lends out carbon dioxide monitors through our nine digital innovation hub locations across the city. And it is a pandemic response. And the library has a long tradition of providing access to technology, especially to people who do not have access to technology. Now, the volunteers tell me the app has many practical uses, like helping them pick a restaurant or coffee shop. For more on how to contribute to the app and view the map, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Doshad Berman.